All right, guys, so if you like foot locks and you want to end up in that position, you need to watch this video. This is going to be the entry into most of your basic straight ankle lock positions, and you can transition to heel hooks and whatnot, so check it out. All right, guys, welcome back to my laboratory. Here we go. Pwn is standing. We're going to do some single leg X. Drills. Let's go this direction, please. All right, here's where we're going to start. I'll just have both ankles right in front of me. I'm not going to grab both because what I found happens as we drill this, a new partner will fall down a lot. We'll get there, but for right now, I'm just going to put left hand on the ankle, shoot my leg through, pull my ribs right to his ankle, left foot comes up. Now, look how my hips are on the ground. What I need to do is use this foot on his hip to curl down and lift my hips up. So my hips come up high, connect my knee all the way up to my heel. Here's my single leg X. This hand is simply hooking. Now from here, just to work on this position, I'm going to let go. This knee falls open until this point this direction. At this point, I'm going to reach. This hand lets go. I'm going to put my hand right here on his thigh. And what I'll do is shoot this leg through, pull my rib, foot goes up, lift here. Same thing back, drop. Let go, hand goes on the thigh, come through, lift. Now, the reason I said put it on the thigh, well, there's several reasons. I can push off, so I'm here. Now watch, when I switch this hand to this ankle, this hand can push to get me over. The second reason is when I'm here, if he steps forward and pushes my knee down, so this leg will step, his right hand pushes my knee exactly. That's going to be a common defense. Now, to prevent that, all I have to do is... From here, he goes to do that. I go stop, I check it, I bring my knee back through that he's pushed off, then right back to single leg X. I switch here, if he steps and pushes off, go ahead Andrew, all I have to do is go here, push away, thread my knee back through, and then reconnect, okay? So that's the reason I try to get in the habit of touching, pushing. And you wanna get really proficient, Speedy at this drill. Now, when you get better and he understands how to hold his balance, you can have both hands here. Do the same drill. But, as I'm learning, if I'm really bad about knocking into my partner hard, I'm going to accidentally knock him down and he'll lose his balance, which does throw off the drill. So at first, when I teach my students, I don't have them hold both ankles because the guy standing is going to be falling all over the place and we're both not benefiting from the drill. So just hang on to one ankle at a time and go back and forth. All right, guys. So subscribe, give me some feedback, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate you. Keep moving forward.